Hello everyone, my name is LazyJet and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favourite characters from the show Thomas and Friends. Um, and it's um, and the reason why he's my favourite, um, because he may be a big strong engine, but actually he's very kind and he's, he's a bit nervous and he's always shy. And he doesn't like the rain, I mean we all know the history of how he got stuck in a tunnel and refused to come out because he didn't want to spoil his lovely green paint and red stripes. So yes, you've guessed it, the engine I'm reviewing today is the Hornby Henry. Now normally I'll start off with the uh, box, but because I bought this off eBay, it didn't really come with a box. Um, it was a second hand, and this is a very special model to me, because this model is actually... Uh, a DCC fitted engine. Now this model is actually very old because uh, there is a newer version of the Hornby Henry uh, because the green is a bit of a brighter colour and the number three uh, is, is, is different on the tender. But um, this is the older model. I couldn't really find the newer model uh, which was quite weird actually. I, I, can't, I was hoping maybe I could find the, uh, the newer model of Henry but this is, the actu this is actually the uh, older one. Um, the tender fell off. But because this is an older model, uh, this is actually a tender driven engine. So the motor is actually in the tender, which means you can just easily spin the wheels around. If it get in focus. Can you get in focus for Henry's wheels? There we go. And as I said, you know, uh, because I don't actually have the box, I don't actually really know where to start. So I probably will show you this up in close up and show you all the detail parts. And I have customized this a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's see what this what this loco looks like in in close up, shall we? So here is Henry from the side. Now Henry, as I said, is my favourite character from the Thomas and Friends series. But uh, the Backman one looks more like Henry from the show. But to be honest, I prefer the Hornby Henry because he looks more like the Black Five uh, of the logo he's based off. And um, I love the uh, the colour of, of this model, it's fantastic. I have actually customised it a little bit because I've actually fitted a more realistic coal to the tender. Uh, but I'll get a close up of that in a minute. Um, but as I said, this is a custom customized uh, loco because the person who actually previously owned this uh, actually fitted a decoder on it so I'm just going to gently take the cover of the tender off that just pops off nicely uh, now I'm going to quickly actually show you in close-up because um, it's actually a work of art really um, actually it's not but <laughs> but there is the decoder chip it's all covered up so it doesn't actually get damaged now because the motor is in the tender uh, I can't actually fit a speaker to it, so uh, unfortunately this model will never ever have sound. But that's okay, I, I'm just happy that it's a, it's a digital uh, model, so I'm just going to gently put the cover back on, so it just clips on back on like so, and just hook up to Henry. Um, but yes, Henry uh, is what well, was an experimental engine, uh, that's why he didn't run very properly on Sir Tom Hatt's railway, or the Fat Controller's railway. But anyway, Henry needed special coal, he needed Welsh coal, because uh, normal coal uh, wouldn't let Henry produce steam properly. Now let's get a shot of Henry from the front, so I'm just going to gently turn the model so you can actually see his amazing face. I mean the detail in the face, I'll, I'll try and zoom in for you guys with the camera so you guys can actually see a close up of the face. Look at that big smile, he's a very happy engine today aren't you Henry? Now because Henry is one of the strongest engines on Sodor, he normally pulls like big heavy freight trains, but his favourite train to pull of them all is the Flying Kipper. Now because Henry does that job so well, Sir Tobham Hat has actually granted Henry to have that job permanently because he just does so well at pulling the Flying Kipper and Henry can't complain, I mean it's one of his favourite jobs and he's, he's just got a, look at that big smile on his face, I mean I love the detail in the face and you know, and look at that big smile on his face, I mean to be honest, Hornby do an amazing job at making the faces pretty accurate from the television series, um, but the Backman ones don't really look like the actual characters in the face. I mean, do, do the faces look weird in my opinion, but you know, I'm not the only one who thinks that. But let's get a Henry, let's get a shot of Henry, sorry, from the, from an angle, see what he looks like. There he is. Wow, it just looks so good, especially from this from this angle, especially from the sunlight. It looks, in my opinion, amazing. I just love the way it looks. I love the colour as well. I love the uh, the funnel. I love its 
big massive uh, f uh, s a firebox or I nearly said smoke box the smoke box is here not here this is I love how big the firebox is it's just amazing the tender looks great as well I just love everything about this model I mean I know this is a very old model but you know I'm just happy that I actually have a DCC fitted uh, model Henry um, but yeah, I'm really excited to actually get this on the on the uh, on the track and see how well it runs. Now, weirdly, I want to say before I get started, I mean, no spoilers, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, Henry, well, this particular model is actually funny enough. It may be an old engine and an old model, but this is actually one of the best running engines I own today, which is pretty weird. I mean, I guess it's because it's tender driven, or maybe it is because the motor is, is works so well. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just because Hornby do a good job. Hornby, sorry, Hornby do a good job at making their engines um, especially as one as old as this and it runs really well uh, so anyway, let's get Henry on the track and let's see how well he runs okay so now that Henry is on the tracks so I'm going to give him a little bit of power now this is, this is actually a, a digital loco so I'm actually using my digital uh, controller to, to uh, control this engine so let's see how well it runs uh, if it was going very slowly forward so let's give it a little test let's give it a tiny bit of power Wow, look how, look how smooth that is. That's incredibly smooth. Let's put it in reverse. Just a little bit of power. Wow, that is like really smooth. Let's see if we can zoom in so you actually see how smooth that is. Wow, let's put it back and forward. You know, for a very old model, this is actually like a super smooth runner. Bear in mind, it is actually tender driven. So, um, I mean, I'm a bit disappointed that it's tender driven. I haven't actually used this engine in a while. And I want to quickly show you the uh, coal uh, detail I've added. I've actually added some uh, more realistic coal. I mean, the reason why it's up so high is because the actual uh, coal that was uh, made on the tender uh, doesn't actually come off because it's actually like one big piece so if I cut the coal out it will actually have a massive hole in the tender where the motor is so I just had to put the more realistic coal on top of the fake coal so that's why the coal sort of sticking up a little bit but apart from that it does look pretty good though doesn't it let me zoom out again so you can actually see the whole model let's put it back in reverse and let's have Henry go backwards there we go that's a bit better isn't it Right, so I think we should get Henry hooked up to a train, and I have the perfect train for Henry to actually pull. So let's back you up, Henry. Yep, you guessed correctly, Henry is pulling his favourite train, the Flying Kipper. So let's give Henry just a little bit of power, and let's see him how he takes off to the main line, and how smooth he runs pulling the Flying Kipper. Oh, and I almost forgot, Henry is not the only Thomas and Friends character digital engine I own. No, I have Thomas the Tank Engine who's also a digital loco, so let's give him a bit of power. Let's see how he, how well he runs, sorry, pulling his two loyal coaches, Annie and Carabao. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave Henry and Thomas the Tank Engine running for a bit. I'm going to try and get some cool epic shots for you. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy uh, this little video, my friends, and enjoy the little running session I have for you.
Right, I think we're going to bring Henry to a stop, so we're just going to slow him down. Come on, Henry, stop, 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 stop. There we go. And we'll bring Thomas the tank engine to a halt as well, shall we? To bring the two engines together. There we go, that's nice, isn't it? That's lovely, that was actually a nice stop. Now that is absolutely amazing. Both engines run extremely well. Henry is extremely smooth for a very old model. Thomas the Tank Engine, that's a custom uh, digital engine. Well, they're both customs actually, but I obviously, you know, from my previous video, I was the one who customized Thomas the Tank Engine, but this one I can't take credit for because I didn't customize this to be DCC. I actually bought it as a DCC engine because uh, the previous owner actually customized it himself and he did a good job. Um, but yeah, I don't know who I should buy next for another Thomas and Friends character, but all I do know is I need it to be DCC. So, because um, obviously I'm going digital with my Hornby layout. And um, uh, who should, oh, actually, I'm going to leave you guys uh, to decide who shall I buy next. Uh, leave your answer in the comment section below. Who shall I buy for my next Thomas and Friends uh, ca uh, Hornby character for my amazing Thomas and Friends collection? Because I've never actually had a Thomas and Friends Hornby collection before. So, I might want to start one. Uh, but who shall I buy next? Should I buy James, Gordon, Percy, Toby, uh, Diesel? That's probably a bad model that's a bad idea Oliver no but um yeah I'm I'm extremely pleased with this with this model Henry I mean I'm I couldn't be happier I mean it may be the older model I mean there is a newer model of Henry where the green is more lighter and the number three is more well looks better but no I am pleased because you know I just love the fact that that it just runs extremely smooth and I just love the face I love the color and it, it just looks amazing it just it looks like Henry how I remember Henry when I first saw him as a Hornby model Hornby model I can't say Hornby properly but never mind but anyway, my friends, make sure you click that subscribe button right here. Click it right here, my friends. Very important. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description, my friends. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again next time in another Hornby review. But I really hope you did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. <laughs>